seen before. Boy, I'll tell you what, that is an incredible image. Okay, CBS 13's Angela Greenwood joining us now. She has more on these heartbreaking images that are emerging from the widespread devastation, and it's just throughout Northern California. It really is, and it's very tough to see. Sam and Christina, residents in these areas, of course, are still in shock tonight. This all happened so fast and so unexpectedly, and you can really just feel the fear in these images as many folks were woken up in the middle of the night to learn their homes were on fire. I just saw flames all up on the hill behind my house. Wind whipped wildfires. Fanned flames as fast as they were fierce. It looks like a bomb went off. You know, there's nothing left. The sudden firestorm charring neighborhoods across wine country. Completely in flames. <laughs> Those flames so close, some residents were burned as they rushed to leave their homes. The fast-moving fire devoured hundreds of homes and businesses. Panic-stricken. It's, it's just so scary. Firefighters forced to let some structures burn to save others. We had deputies up on Mark West when the fire went through. We had deputies pinned down with civilians, and they couldn't get out, and the fire just went around them, so it's been quite harrowing for them. In Santa Rosa, the fire ripped through the heart of the city. Patients were rescued from two hospitals as the blaze inched closer. The wife and I, uh, we went around pounding on doors trying to you know, wake people up. While flames destroyed a mobile home retirement community and badly damaged a Hilton Hotel and the Cardinal Newman High School. I think we've raised the bar again in California in just terms of the, the conditions that we're facing uh, and the destruction and devastation. Whoa, they're spooked. A stunned county. Caught off guard by a string of overnight infernos, now set to face what they've lost. It's unbelievable. And on top of those who have been killed in these fires, there are more than 100 people who have been hospitalized with fire related injuries. This firestorm, by the way, is being deemed one of the worst in state history, and it really is tough to see. Boy, in Santa Rosa alone, right. how long is it going to take for them to rebuild? Oh, I mean, goodness. It's going to be a very long time, no doubt. Okay. Angela, thank you. Now,